Hey bestie, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Erica, and today's video is going to be a first impressions, trying out some new makeup, and just getting ready with you guys, basically, and I hope you guys are here for it. I hope you got your tea, I hope you got your snacks, and whatever you need, so um, I'll give you 30 seconds to go get it. Um, light a candle or do something, bitch. Oh my god, I totally forgot to light my candles. so we can start this video um my mom actually is so sweet she just brought me a starbucks i wanted to try their pistachio latte and this is my first time trying it um i just saw that they came out with it so i was like i kind of want to try that i'm kind of nervous i hope it tastes good wait wrong way this is my new cup by the way don't be jealous um i was really hoping i would like this I'm still I would still drink it but it's not that good I don't think it tastes like pistachios maybe I haven't had a pistachio in a while I don't know I'm gonna just sit with this and see how I feel um, I don't know when this turned into a drink review but okay so yeah um, Today I was thinking that since I am going to be trying a new foundation today, I thought that I would do one primer that I have not tried yet. This is the Pure No Filter Primer. I forgot I even had this little sample. And then I thought I would use the Becca, um, the Becca First Light Priming Filter since I have been using this for a long time and I already know that I like it. So I thought that we would do that just so I can compare the sides of the of the foundation and also kind of try to figure out what um, this primer is actually adding to this look. So let's get into it. I'm going to do that. So I'm stuck at the bottom, you guys. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I just got a lot. Perfect. <laughs> I knew I had some at the bottom. So I'm going to do my Becca primer on this side of my face. <laughs> this AirPod. Um, how have you guys been? I have just like put out this makeup on my shelf so I could be reminded of it. Like for me, I don't know why, but if I don't see something that I have, I just forget about it. So I like to see all of the things that I <laughs> that I have so I can remember to film videos like this or so I can remember to like use up products to try them out. Okay, so we did this side of the face. Now let's go ahead and try this. I should probably get like a Ziploc bag because I don't think I'm gonna use this whole thing. <sighs> I just lit this lavender incense and it smells really good. Okay, let's just put a little on the back of our hand. <clears throat> and I'll get a bag for that. I think I put a little too much, but that's all right. You know it's fine it's fine we'll put some on our neck oh my god I'm definitely gonna need some time for this to sink into my skin I mean I don't have to use all this but I just hate wasting stuff okay oh my god this is insane is it supposed to be this is it supposed to be this Reflective. I guess I was just not expecting this kind of finish at all, so I'm a little shocked. I am shocked. Oh my god. I don't hate it. You guys know. If you guys have been watching me, you know. This is my journey right here, baby. But I think it's just a little shocking because there is a pigment to it and it's kind of like... I don't know how I feel about it yet because it's kind of like yellowy. I feel like it's making me look a little yellowy. Like, oh my god, it's reminding me of this book I had to read when I was little called The Yellow Fever. Bitch. <laughs> I feel like that is the modern yellow fever. Okay, let's just not talk about that. And I'm hoping that this foundation I'm going to try, or it's not really foundation, you'll see. I'm hoping it will cover this pimple I have coming in. She's a beaut. I gotta get that brow bone, honey. 
Okay, I think we used a pretty good amount. I mean, I'm only gonna be wasting that much. Stay on your side. It looks good. I like it. Like, I look really, like, ready to go on this side, and I look like I'm dead over here. Okay. <laughs> so, next, this is the Ilia Super Skin Tint Broad Spectrum SPF Sunscreen. It's hydrating, natural protection, and I've never tried this brand before. I, it's, like, relatively new to me. I think I've heard the name before, but I never have tried it. I haven't, like... I don't know I just didn't know much about it but I looked it up because I wanted to try out some of their stuff I found out that they are cruelty free and vegan so that's really cool and on the back it says your SPF will never be the same and if you guys watch my skincare routine you would know that I try to use SPF as often as I can especially like when I'm just going outside or I'm just walking around the block or something you know so um i love that there is spf already in here that would be great for me because like sometimes when i'm doing my makeup i feel like i said that weird um i just like when i'm putting on my sunscreen before because i know i'm gonna be outside i kind of just think like i wonder if this sunscreen is gonna like take off my makeup or anything like that like i just wonder if it's gonna like um i wonder if it's gonna participate in making my makeup like spread apart or whatever you want to call it i don't know how to explain it exactly but i feel like the sunscreen i do i use now doesn't really do that but i could see it happening if i'm trying out new products and stuff like that so this is just ideal for me and i thought that i would want to try it out they gave me these three shades um i think maybe i could use this if I mixed it with another shade, I'm going to go with this shade and then, I don't know, I, I will either mix the shade later or I will let my mom mix these two or something because I think she would want to try it too. And I'm going to use a brush because I want the most full coverage I can get. It looks really thin. Here's what it looks like, you guys. Doesn't that look thin? Like, you can see the gray behind it. Like, you can see the packaging behind it, but hey. I'm not gonna judge it yet. I'm just saying it looks a little thin and watery. Okay, let's just get some, oh my God, a whole bristle just came off my brush. No one needs to see that. No one wants to see that. Okay, let's go for it. And I'm just gonna like try to build up one layer at a time. But let's see how it, how it um, meshes with these primers. All these little <laughs> freaking makeup brush hairs on me. Are you kidding? And then I keep, I need to remember that I want to get my entire face with this because I want the SPF to be everywhere, including my neck. I'm, I always forget to put SPF on my ears anyone else it's such an easy place to forget <laughs> okay i'm going in with the second layer i should have told you that i think we have like a good layer going i still want to cover this right here but let's just look at it first Mm. okay for some reason it might have been because i put a little too much primer but when i'm looking up close like i can see like this yellow ass primer peeking like through kind of and i don't like that yellow i mean i think it'll i think i can cover that with concealer you know but that's just not ideal for me. I feel like it, I can see the little gold textury particles on this side, and on this side, I just look more natural, and it literally just looks like my actual skin. Let me see if I can like, let me see if I can just zoom in for you guys to see really quick before I add some more. Like on this side, I feel like it looks like I'm not wearing anything, and I just look like this is my natural like skin, you know? And then on this side, it's like a little less believable, if that makes sense, but 
you know, if I'm going for this kind of look one day, like, I really do be doing these looks. Like, I really do like being um, nice and oily because <laughs> you will be able to tell once I put on this. I always put this on before my foundation, so. Yeah, I think I'm, I, I think I'm like, this side looks more natural. This side is more something I would go for if I'm doing a major look and I want to like, I, I have a whole idea in mind, you know? All right, let me just add more because we are here and I want to cover this freaking, I don't know why I got this. It just showed up like literally yesterday. I'm scared that if I start blending it too much, it'll just blend it away low key. So I'm trying to be like, trying to be soft. Let's try to cover up some of that um, shine. So it's more believable that it's like my actual skin. <clears throat> if my skin was naturally this shiny, oh my god, if I woke up like this every day, I would just be like in the best mood. <laughs> I'm gonna use all that they gave me in this little sample. I think I'm liking it so far. This is super ideal for me. Like, I could kind of see myself just wearing this and maybe some concealer if I don't feel like putting on SPF and this is just easier. But I'm not sure about how it transfers onto masks. <clears throat> I think I might go for another walk later, so maybe I will show you guys if it transfers on me or what. I kind of didn't really read the inside. Maybe it would have told me more things about it. I think they have a decent um, shade range. I do want to say because, it, it, okay, it's, in, it's available in 18 shades. I think that there might be like one too many white shades. Like these two shades look literally the same to me. Like one is just a little bit more yellow, but all I'm saying is that I can't think of the brand right now. I was trying to think of what it's called, but I can't. It's not coming to mind right now. But there's this one brand that has like a similar kind of deal where they have like a really like light, light coverage foundation and their shade range is non-existent. And that's just sad. Like it's like, it just, I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, why is that a thing that brands do? Like. Do they think that, oh, they don't need it? Like, what? Don't you, why wouldn't you want to, like, sell to everyone? Like, why? It's just lazy. So, that my whole point is, I'm glad that they have a decent shade range. It looks like it goes pretty deep, and I would just, I wouldn't want to support a brand that doesn't have that. So we are done with this. I think I like it. I think it's pretty decent. I think it covered up my pimple pretty well. It's basically just a red, like, it's kind of coming through a little bit, but it's really not that bad at all. I like it. Um, let me read this <laughs> since I did not read it in case you guys aren't interested. Skin that looks like skin, super plumping, super hydrating, super natural SPF. This is all-in-one skin protecting tinted serum, quenches skin with active levels of plumping hyaluronic acid. Hydrating squall, squalane and skin repairing. I don't know how to say that word. A ni niacinamide mide. shield skin from free radicals with a patented SPF that boosts skin care effective, effectiveness by 200%. It lets your skin breathe with light coverage and a natural dewy finish. Silicone free, fragrance free. <laughs> Silicone free, fragrance free, chemical sunscreen free, oil free, and safe for sensitive sensitive skin. Your SPF will never be the same. Okay, I think you guys get it. It's the whole deal, you guys. Let me. I love how I just freaking said that I always put this on underneath, but sometimes I forget. Sometimes I forget. I'm human. Um, and that's a good segue into. I wanted to just say like preface that skincare has just been 
like so good for me this year like I've never been so good at doing my skincare I'm applying this rare beauty enchanted enchant um, highlight so what I was gonna say is skincare has just been like kind of a saving grace for me this past year because it's something that makes me like feel human that I do every day it's like a routine at this point but I did want to say that I do make mistakes and not every day it's not every day that I do my skincare like I would say it's a good six out of seven days it's basically like every day of the week every night I do that same skincare routine but I do want to say that there are those days where I'm just like in bed and I I'm like just want to go to sleep and I'm too lazy to get out and do my skincare so I just wanted to say if you're not able to do all that like it's okay don't expect yourself to be perfect but I just wanted to say that like I love my skincare girl I highly recommend it it makes me feel sane it makes me feel like I don't know like I'm in control of my own skin and like I don't know I would recommend if you're just like not knowing what to do in quarantine life you know but I'm not perfect and sometimes I do forget girl or I'm just like I know and I just don't want to do it because I'm too lazy but it's really good for me now I'm using the rare beauty concealer these two are not first impressions but we will get to it girl I'm just waiting for this foundation to kind of like set or, or do whatever it needs to do since I've never used it before before I go in with the other stuff let's blend out this concealer Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> I just remembered about this video I watched yesterday on YouTube by Colin Berry. If you guys don't follow him or you don't subscribe to him, you 100% need to. He's like, I think he's around my age. I'm not totally sure what his age is, but he looks like around my age. And he is a really good YouTuber. He always just speaks the truth and he doesn't hold back and he's not scared of like upsetting people and I just really look up to him and he posted this one video yesterday I'm gonna go in with blush now in the shade joy he posted this video I can link it down below it's just really good and I just every time he said something I was just like yes 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 bitch like I, I don't even know I could not even tell you all the points he brought up, but it was just fabulously done and I was like reading through the comments and somebody commented, the entire internet needs to see this video and I was like, yes, yes. So if you haven't seen it, I would highly recommend go watch it after my video. I will link it below. It's like how I feel, like it's a lot of the points he brought up we're really really relatable i feel like we're all kind of in this little weird slump of starting the year but i will not do it any justice if i say anything more i think he just explained it really well and i'm not even gonna go into it if you want to see it you should just go watch it i recommend girl I always love using this blush to just give myself some life again. I don't know. I just feel like when I'm so pale and stuff that I just look a little dead, like a vampire or something. But there's not anything wrong with that, you know? I'm just not going for that kind of look today. But whatever you guys like to do, whatever makes you feel pretty or feel like a boss ass bee, you do you. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to this product that my friend gave me for Christmas. Thank you, Aaliyah. This is the, I've never tried this before, so yes, it's in my first impressions. I forgot what I was in the middle of saying, but I just asked my mom what she thought of the drink because I saved her a little, and she said it doesn't taste like pistachios either, so. 
Now you've got two people saying the same thing. I don't taste pistachios. It has like a weird like like aftertaste that I think that that's what they think the pistachio tastes like, but I think they could have done better. They could have added like, I don't know what they put in here, but it seems like they could have put some nuts or something. I don't know. ASMR. It just tastes like a regular coffee, which is why I'm gonna drink it. It just tastes like a regular latte. <laughs> oh yeah, I was in the middle of explaining what I was gonna use. This is the Precisely My Brow Pencil, and I'm using the shade 3.5. I've literally never used this. Let me go ahead and comb through my brows. And then I always put on this Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt. So let me just do my brows first. You guys should comment down below what is at least one thing you're excited about in 2021. Could be anything you're looking forward to. Um, I gotta think about my answer. Whenever people ask me questions, I'm like, give me a second to think about it. Okay, so let's go in with this brow pencil. This is my first time using it. I've used other Benefit brow products though. I think this will just be like the Anastasio, um, Anastasio? Did I just say that? <laughs> Oh my god, I was gonna say, I think this is like the Anastasia, like, brow is or something. That is funny. I should always call Anastasia, Anastasio. Is that funny? Am I just, like, telling a dad joke or some shit? I like it very soft. can achieve the brow that I want with this so that's all I really ask for with brow products you know I do want to try the Glossier brow flick can you guys believe that I've never tried Glossier I mean this is kind of like me trying out the brand Ilia too because I've never tried it before and maybe I can do a video just like this but for Glossier because I've never tried Glossier and there are some products I want to try from them. I think I messed up my brow on that side. Let me just brush these out. It's a little weird <laughs> on that part. Okay, I like it. I think my brows look how they normally look. I mean, they might be a little thicker. But I haven't done my makeup in a long time, so it might not look the best today, and that's fine. I don't know the last time I did my makeup, honestly. What are your guys' favorite songs on Taylor's new albums? I finally have given it a good listen through a few times. I didn't want to like just listen to it a couple times and then kind of figure out what my favorites were. So I listened to it a few times. I can't, I don't know if I can say all the, the songs like by their right name, but I liked um, Long Story Short. I liked Betty, which is the older album. I liked um, Tis the Season. I can't think of any of their songs for some reason, but I recommend listening to it. I really liked it. I still gotta figure out what my like top, top favorite is. I'm gonna do a very simple look today. I'm gonna go in with my Lunar Beauty Moon Spell Palette because I love the browns in here. They have like the perfect transition shades and I just wanted to do something simple. So, yep, let's go into this palette and I will just be reading out the names that I'm gonna use. Let me get my brushes. First, I'm just gonna take this crease brush and I'm gonna dip into the shade Sarah, which is the more cool toned um it's more of like a pinky mauve cool toned brown transition shade wow look at me explaining shades go off it's the artist in me okay so i i kind of like to do sometimes i've been doing this a lot i feel like where i have one kind of kind of crease color in this inner portion part and then I go in with a different kind of crease color for over here, but I'm just gonna like start making that blend anyway.
what have you guys been watching please if you have any show requests or anything like that feel free to leave them down below i mean at this point girl between like my family and like my boyfriend i have like a hulu a netflix like an amazon prime like you name it girl so if you have any good show requests feel free to let me know because right now i'm watching how I Met Your Mother, and I want to watch more of 90 Day Fiance. I want to catch up on that. So, um, after I do that, I will maybe look into the show that you put down below. Ooh, I know what I'm going to use today. I haven't used this Natasha Denona shade in a while. It's almost Aquarius season, bitch. I keep saying bitch. <laughs> it's almost Aquarius season. I can't wait. I'm also, I didn't even, I just realized I didn't tell you what shade I used. I just took the shade Winifred and I put this on the outer crease. And I'm also just blending that into the center here. So it all has this like warm tone throughout it. Let me have some more of this pathetic coffee. Okay, now I'm gonna dip back into Sarah, which is that more cool tone mauve E crease color, and I'm gonna put this on my lower lash line. I often do the lower lash line, and I kind of like blend out all these little creases that my concealer creates with my eyes. Okay, I'm gonna take this Natasha Gen Denona little single shadow I have. If you guys saw my Pat McGrath video, bitch, I already know. Are you kidding me? Why are all my brushes deciding to shed right now? Now, let's go in with a new product again. Do I have to shake this one? Oh, I guess so there's a bowl. Okay, whatever, I'm just gonna shake this up. This is the Kat Von D. Uh, um, <laughs> I'm confused. I thought Kat Von D was gone. I thought it was called KBD Beauty now. And that's kind of the whole reason that I got this, because I thought it was KBD Beauty. When did I get this? I ordered a Sephora, um, I got a Sephora order online. And I got this, like, as a free gift, you know, with like, my points. But I thought this was the KBD one. Like the vegan KVD be vegan beauty, but on here it says Kat Von D. Girl, I don't want to support Kat Von D. <laughs> I want to support KVD. I'm confused. I'm confused by this. I did not expect this. I really haven't even looked at this packaging till now. Okay, so this is my first time trying this liner. I think this is the one I heard good things about. It's very cute packaging. I will say, I go hard for roses. Are you kidding? Waterproof eyeliner. Oh, this better not be hard to take off. <laughs> oh, this is the face of regret. Trooper Black. Let's hope my hand isn't too caffeinated over here. I'm nervous. I'm excited though. Okay, let's try this liner. Wow. Other times when I use liners, they are so thick. This is extremely skinny. If I'm not mistaken, I think that this dries down to matte black. Oh my god, I got glitter all over that applicator, you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. Okay, here's how the liner looks. What do we think? I think I like it. Let me look at it. 
again it's it's drying down pretty matte it looks very matte at this point i don't think i did it completely even but i did the best job that i could i'm gonna put on some of my pure eyeliner in my waterline even though i know it's probably gonna get in my eye later and i'm gonna have to take it out you know that's what i signed up for over here miss erica adrian makeup let me put on some faux freckles. I feel like this look calls for it. And this wet and wild like eyeliner I got. Okay, you guys, so I think that I'm gonna be making some changes to my little setting. I don't know, um, I don't wanna like spoil it or tell you guys what's coming, but I think that it will be fun on my channel in a little while. Like. In my next couple videos, I think that um, I might be giving different vibes. I don't want to say anything else. I don't know. I don't want to, like, say too much and then have it not happen for, like, a couple weeks. I basically just go over freckles that I can see that I already have. Sometimes I forget where they are. <laughs> I'm also just doing it random because if you... I've told this on my channel before... If you are drawing like stars, it's the same thing as if you're drawing freckles on your face. You don't want to make them all evenly spaced apart because it will look like fake. It will not look real at all. So you want to just do random motions and you want to make sure that they're not all the same distance apart because it will look super weird. So let me just put on my lip. Um, I also got this as a gift from my friend. This is the Anastasia... This is the Anastasio Bittersweet Liquid Lipstick, and let's just put this on. I think I'm gonna like line my lips with it first and just go from there. It is really dark, <clears throat> so I might just wanna do the good old lining your lips with it. I forgot how creamy these were. After I've had coffee today, oh my god, this is taking a lot of patience. <laughs> okay guys, now I'm gonna curl my lashes so I can try out this mascara. I think I like this. This lipstick. It looks really similar to my Fenty Unveil. I love how I just know all the names at this point. <laughs> but it does look really similar to that. Limitless Lash Mascara by Ilia Lift Lengthen Curl. Organic Shea Butter and Arginine go off <laughs> as long as it's not like harming my lashes and making them like slowly worse and worse then I'm here for it. Easy on the eyes, a clean, buildable, lengthening mascara with a cult following, lightweight, flake-free formula is made with natural waxes. Organic Shea Butter to weightlessly condition and Arginine to fortify the lashes. A dual-sided brush allows you to define, lift, and separate with precision. Yay! Oh, cute. Mascara is never in white packaging. It's always in black. It's like a matte, so that's why it feels so nice when I, when I first held it. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try this new mascara, guys. I think mascara is one of my favorite things to try. I've tried a lot of mascaras on this channel, at least, um, especially recently. Cute. I'm excited! Okay. Let's do a little thumbnail. Okay, for real now. Oh my god, it smells good. You guys, I don't know what it is with me, but recently I love the smell of mascara. It gets me so pumped. Oh my god, let me smell this. No. I got like a really good one. <laughs> I don't like that earlier. Oh my god, I'm sounding insane. I don't know why. Okay, so far I've only gotten like one little mascara flake, so I'm gonna start being careful now because I hate those little. I hate those little flakes. Okay, so far, let me just tell you guys, it looks really. It looks really thin. 
like it doesn't look like it coated my lashes a whole lot like how I would want it to be if I was doing a more full coverage kind of look but for like an everyday look this kind of similarly like reminds me of my milk makeup one like the whole point of the milk one is that it's supposed to be good for your lashes and stuff and I agree I think it was it felt really natural and it didn't feel heavy and it felt good for my eyes you know as good as good as it can be for being mascara and makeup that you put on your eyes but um, this one is giving me kind of similar vibes except for some reason, I think the milk one makes your lashes even like more volume, volume and voluminous. Oh my god, I could not say that word. But maybe this one doesn't even this one doesn't even claim to be voluminous, does it? It's just supposed to be like natural, lightweight, flake-free, and buildable. So let's go ahead and build it up and see how that works. I do love that there's no flakes. I freaking hate that my Fenty one does that for me so bad I don't know if it's because I got a bad one or if I could or if it's because I got the small version but I do not like that one so far it's just like every time I use it I get real smudgy and I'm like oh my god I should have just used Dior okay so it's nothing crazy it looks good it looks like it would go perfectly with this look because it's so natural and so minimalist let's do the lower lashes and look at that my brown lower lash line has almost come off on this side I mean my brown waterline this could be good for my lower lash line I always get those stupid little flanky, flaky, I said flanky. I always get those stupid little flakes on my bottom lashes especially. So this could be really good for my bottom lashes. I like how it looks on my bottom especially. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> Don't mess up the mascara. Oh my god, I think I messed it up when I sneezed. <laughs> oh my god. Apparently this mascara is not sneeze proof. Sneezes come in threeses. <laughs> okay, let's add more, bitch. It does say it's buildable, so I want to get that full. I want to see how big these lashes can get on their own. Okay, let's have a look. It looks way better with three coats, but I mean, I guess that's a good thing because some people don't want full coverage, like volumizing lashes every time. Sometimes people just want one or two coats. So that's good. Like if you want variety, if you want some days you want lighter mascara, some days you want more heavy mascara, that's great for you. This would be great for you. It's vegan. It's everything you could want. It's very um, lengthening and I especially love it for my bottom lashes. I'm just living. They are like a little smudgy, but please just, just ignore that because if I want to fix that, I have to wait till it's dry, okay? We can't be perfect. I think I'm gonna add more blush. It's kind of like not as prominent as I want. Overall, I really like the stuff I tried out today. I think it was really fun just hanging out with you guys and trying out some new stuff. So I hope you enjoyed it. And right now I'm gonna go in with my buxom blush in the shade wanderlust oh no this is in the shade havana it's the wanderlust blushes that i'm using i just want like a little more pinkiness i didn't go too heavy on the blush earlier and blush kind of just melts your freckles i love putting blush on top of my freckles yes girl okay um let me add some gloss and we will call it a day i think from talking my lipstick just blended itself out so okay guys this is the fenty diamond milk gloss okay guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you for being here and making it till the end if you made it to the end why don't you comment down below what your zodiac sign is um i would love to see you return if you guys enjoyed my video i would really appreciate it if you came back for the next one so go ahead and push the all notifications button with the bell and you will be here right when i upload 
and also I just wanted to say I know that some of you guys watch my videos and you're not even subscribed so it's like girl I'm gonna pull a Jackie Ina on you and say you're gonna be here anyway so you might as well subscribe save yourself and me some time it's free and we have a good time over here so thank you guys so much for watching please leave me a like if you like this video and comment down below whatever you guys want and I will see you in the next one bye